this is Kathleen from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you how to take scaled uh, patterns that you might get from a pattern book, for example, scan it in and make it bigger as required, um, like it says in, you can do this in Inkscape and then um, print or project onto your, onto your fabric with your projector. Um, so one consideration you have to start off with is that Inkscape will automatically open up this um, This is their zero line here. It's gonna be right this bottom left hand corner You can also see the scales up here, but this sheet of paper is all it's going to print a PDF on So you want to make that bigger So if you have a bigger um, Full like you can see on left hand side. It's a full scale version of my one of my pattern pieces It's got to be at least that big if you need the pattern pieces that big so you can do that by going to Document Properties or Shift Control D or Command D. I don't know if Inkscape works on Mac. And you can choose a bigger size or uh, better yet is custom size. So let's go with inches and let's just do 20 inches by 20 inches just to cover everything. And we're going to show the page border so we know where it needs to be um, so we can put the PDF. So I'm going to leave that there. Or rather, I'm gonna move this a little bit more over. Okay, so what we have to do is you're gonna scan in the sheet using a scanner or take a picture. The picture is a little hard because you have to make sure it fills the entire frame and it does some slight barrel warping depending on what you use. Like if you use your camera on your phone, that's probably the worst one. Um, but a DSLR, for example, maybe not so much. So you're going to have to make it true to size as um, presented in the book that you have. I will show you exactly what that, I probably should have started with this first. I will show you exactly what I mean by it's scaled. Um, so once you've scanned it, which is the best, or you have taken a picture of it, we're gonna import, and this is a scaled down picture, it's a JPEG. I think you can also import um, PNGs or uh, GIFs. I'm just gonna leave all of this right and just say okay. So this is a scaled down version. Uh, you know when you get those uh, pattern books where everything's scaled down, they're like, uh, blow this up by 200% or 400%. This is what I mean. This is a standard sheet of paper. Okay. I'm sorry, I was just using Illustrator and it's exactly opposite for scrolling. It's gonna be a little awkward for now. So uh, the easiest way to do this is once you have it scanned in, this is an eight and a half by 11 size, by the way. Uh, we're going to go to object and transform, which is control, shift control M. It's gonna pop up on probably the right hand side, which is gonna be right here. And you want, it's gonna start off a move. You wanna to move to scale. And just whatever percentage it says, type that in. You can take the scale proportionally. It'll automatically change the height as well. If you don't remember to do that, it's gonna be a little funky. So please remember to scale proportionally. So mine says 200%, so I set it 200%, I'm gonna apply. And now you can see that, oh, it's a little hard to see because they're not, neither one's clear, but essentially it's the same height. Since this is a JPEG, however, and you if you want to project it onto the, uh, onto the projector, these lines are probably a little too thin. Unless you have very thick lines, it's not gonna cut it. So in this case, you might have to now trace around um, the pattern. Press enter to get rid of that thing. Uh, so basically I'm, I'm using the Bezier pen, which is on the left hand side. It's shift F6, that is the most awkward shortcut. I'm just gonna remember that. Basically you trace around the size that you need. Ish, pretend that's right. Press enter if you don't want the curves anymore and then um, wait until you highlight and you see that red. If you need completely straight lines, you can hold control and then we'll do completely up and down or left to right, um, so horizontal or vertical. And then finish this up. So here, and this is probably much more than you've asked for, but if you wanted, um, yeah, I accidentally pressed V, sorry. That's the shortcut key in Inkscape Illustrator, good lord. Uh, so if you wanted this thicker so you can project it, now you can go to, um, object and fill in stroke which is coming up right here and we want to do stroke style and we want to bump it up so I would do like four points and then you can go ahead and print this in PDF so the easiest way to do that is make sure this is on a page on the whole sheet and then go file um, 
save as. And here you're gonna go type in the whatever name. Oh, you can see why I say my sewing podcast um, for small business sewers. It's a small business sewing podcast. Very creative. Uh, you want to go to PDF and you print the PDF. Um, it's going to ask you, I have to change this. I'm just going to do this here for the sake of time. It's going to ask you what type of version. I would just leave it as is. Uh, just for easy ease. And then this should be something you can project now. That's it. If not, go ahead and leave it in the small small pieces. And uh, I'm sorry, just leave it on an eight and a half by eleven. And then you're gonna have to export each page by moving the pieces over. Um, it's a huge pain in the butt, by the way. I will change this over to a U.S. letter or A4. It does not matter. Oh Lord, I put it on horizontal. Lovely. Um, Basically, you're gonna have to print this. Remember where you were here? Move this, print again. So you might have to put hash marks so that when you print it out, you uh, you can cut and paste tape, not paste, tape the pieces together. We're talking about physically printing this out as a PDF on multiple pages. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's much easier to do in uh, Illustrator, but this is how to do an Inkscape, which is free.